the most amazing development in big government conservatism today. Did you see what Think Progress just posted from Rand Paul's last radio interview? Senator Rand Paul, who was supposedly the epitome of libertarian, small government, principled conservatism in the Senate right now, a man so enamored of individual freedoms that he questioned whether the government should even constrain people's right to discriminate on the basis of race. That's the whole basis of his hemming and hawing over the Civil Rights Act. He says he is such a free speech, individual rights purist that even anti-discrimination laws rub him the wrong way because they constrain people too much. Personal freedoms are that important to him. He wants to limit government's reach that much. Except for this. I'm not for profiling people on the color of their skin or on their religion, but I would take into account where they've been traveling, and perhaps you might have to indirectly take into account whether or not they've been going to radical uh, political speeches by religious leaders, but it wouldn't be that they are Islamic. But if someone is uh, attending speeches from someone who is promoting the violent overthrow of our government, that's really an offense that we should be going after. They should be deported or put in prison. If someone is attending speeches of the wrong kind, they should be deported or put in prison. Remember, this is a guy who's supposed to be the libertarian, principled, small government, free speech, conservative guy in the Senate right now. Government so small, it would put you in jail for the crime of listening to someone like Sharon Engel talking about overthrowing the government with Second Amendment remedies. 